Hey guys, in this video I'm going to install Emporia EV charger with a load management. It's going to be installation in the apartment complex where owner has 70 amps breaker and with uh, load management we can install 40 amps breaker for EV charger so we still can get enough speed to charge the vehicle. And sorry about video quality, it was a dark place uh, and uh, if you're interested let's jump into the video. Here is the electrical panel for 9 units. Each unit has 70 amps breaker and wires going into sub panel that installed inside the unit. My plan is to install new sub panel route wires from existing breaker to new sub panel and there is going to be split one set of wires will go to EV charger and other will go to this panel and will be connected to old sub panel located in unit The panel that I'm installing is outdoor rated square D and it has space only for two double pole breakers. One is going to be used for EV charger and second for load management. This is a concrete wall so to mount sub panel I will need to use hammer drill. Next step is going to be to bend conduit and run on the other side of this wall and there is going to be NEMA 3R 1450 outlet installed and the charger connected to this outlet. When all conduits finished we can start running wires. I'm going to run 8 gauge wire which is good for 40 amps. Now I'm installing insulated connectors and going to run wires between main breaker and new sub panel. And uh, here's uh, all connectors finished and we have all wires connected to main panel. In new sub panel I'm installing three way connectors, two of them for leg one and leg two. And uh, one terminal is going to be used as an input from main circuit breaker and two other is going to be used to power sub panel in a unit and the new sub panel. I'm doing these splice connections in a sub panel because we will need to install CT sensors for load management and uh, there are not enough space in the main panel to install them. On the other side of the wall, now I can mount EV charger and finish electrical connections here. And the last step here is to commission device.
it's a two-step process. First, we will commission the Emporia view for energy monitor. And second, we'll commission EV charger. At the final step of commissioning EV charger, we have to select opacity of breaker. In our case, it's 40 amps. So continuously, we can pull 32 amps, which is 7.7 .7 kilowatts of charging speed. With Emporia, usually we are getting fast response in application, but in our case we have low Wi-Fi signal, so we are getting information with slight delay. Alright guys, that's all about this video. I hope you will find something useful. As always, thank you for watching and see you later.